as well take a look while you're here, eh? Well met, son. How might I be of service? One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. <laughs> A welcome respite from all that hassle and bustle. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. Mayhap you've been misinformed, sir. But there isn't to be a masquerade this day. I'm 
know that you and Dale would have been better off. Is it been early for arrest as yet? Is this some manner of trial? It is good to be reunited. Let us forget the dragon and dance the night away. The occasion demands we forego boorish inquiries. So, tell me more of this ox cart. Everyone who dances with me complains of sore feet. Might as well make merry while the wine flow. Whatever am I to do? All this revelry in war's wake, tisn't right. Mm. Why, no, pay me no mind. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. Is this fast truly to the sovereign's taste? Would seem I drank such drink would that seem I am drunk. Has recovered enough to walk. You were posted in front of the passage. Word reached time. my ear that he would be attending. Make yourself scarce now. I've quite it. I ought to take a moment to review my affairs. I'm Not but tedious talk of golden gum. Everyone who done. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Let us. Wonderful. Oh, naught but dreary duty awaits us. <laughs> well. That's just grand. Mm. Why, no. We who are gathered here... Surely these extrava... These festivities are pop. Leave me be.
your... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scout the area. Well, scout will be back. In here. Open up! Dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive me. And what business have you here in the nobles' playground? Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall, and we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain... pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time. If you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap.
to smell a perfume. Come see me in my board. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Do take care not to stray so far next time. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen, well, well, he is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there is aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention, Phasus. Well, he seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this phases. There is much we ought to tend to. or shall change once we have attended the coronation. If Your Majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty would do well to get a good night's rest. Sways your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, Your Majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. Sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. A chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this godsway's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy, Shall be difficult indeed. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's way? I suppose to... Pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brad's investigation.
You have my support. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Beg pardon, sir, but have you any information about what happened here? A couple were found dead, you see. Poor Albert was stabbed from behind, and Selina, by all appearances, ended her own life after killing. I can't fathom it. I knew the both of them, and I cannot imagine Selina doing such a thing, let alone to her dear husband. One witness claims Selina was turned away from a noble's estate shortly before the incident. But how could that possibly have led to all so gruesome as this? How awful. Are we to blame for this fell conclusion? There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. As regarding the matter of the godsway, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali palace. Surely this ought to be found therein. Yet official dealings twixt Batal and Vrumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It is most fortunate that your majesty is a Beastron. You ought to pass through the border checkpoint without undue trouble. Tis done, Master. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Are you in the market for something in particular? Always a pleasure. You the Arisen? I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters.
interested in my wares? There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? If you feel overburdened, mayhap I could carry some things for you. We shall remain here. For it, but to cut my teeth in a real battle. Hmm. Why is it thus? I heard from Captain Brandt that you plan to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share? That is only if you have the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. <laughs> Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent? No progress as yet, then.
You are not permitted to be here. Move along. Materials, eh? I shan't deny, they have their uses. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall the meaning of Regent Kinsven's letter. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. A grand adventure awaits us. I just know it. At least I go, knowing I fought to the best of my ability. Let us work together to honor the... I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle. So long as... Tis a pity we must part after sharing... Delighted to meet you. Especially if we share a sweet... A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It's said there is an illness Fors can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, 
and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. Can that really be true? I don't like the sound of it at all. Need anything? Many thanks. Fulvio, the artist whose service Sir Clark commissioned, is residing in Batal. Should we go and meet with him? Ah, yes. I know just where to find this person. Follow me. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Wasn't there aught we had to deliver to someone hereabouts? We ought to make the delivery now. Lest it should end up lost or misplaced. That's just what I was thinking. arrived well enough. Where to next? I'm not sending anyone into that cave. But Jonas, isn't it your duty to aid our pe- Yeah, <laughs> this world's gone to the dogs. Think I can manage. Sir Arisen, I am sorry you had to witness that. Jonas has been air harsher in his treatment of Beastrans since we were last beset by monsters. Yet how can he condone leaving a man to his death is beyond my ken. Listen, I know I have begged many favors of you afore now, yet I fear I must ask another. Though the chief has forbidden it, a number of us intend to mount a rescue. Will you aid us in our efforts? Pray, meet us at Stormwind Cave at the tip of the cape. We ought not to... ...dawdle when our aid is sorely needed. It's inspiring to see Sir Fioran fly to his fellow's aid. Let us hasten to Stormwind Cave and join the rescue effort. I know the way. Follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Here already, are we? You've come. I knew I could count on you. In we go, then. No doubt we will have to plumb the cave decks to find our charge. Shall we press on? I can guide you to the vicinity of our destination, Master. We're in your hands, sir. Not a glass. Sorry!
so soon? Why, we seem to have come through on Huzzah! What a team we make, Arisen! Take us by surprise. Think I can manage. A new destination calls to you, I take it. But say no more. I look forward to seeing where you take it. Not for us. Is a novel idea. I've never seen my own master attempt such a feat. Now that is a surprise. We shall have to crane our necks to spot our foes in a place like this. Keep your eyes peeled.
Methinks there are rare materials to be found hereabouts. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Aught has changed since last we came. I hope this does not bode ill. Hmm. I cannot fault your memory. We must get to the bottom of this. Come over here. He just senses all feels out of place. It could very well be a trap. The main plot. Saved. Thank you. Don't we have a report to make, Master? We have completed our quest with nary a hitch. I cannot wait to see Sir Jonas eat his words. Leave this to me, Master. I'll bring you straight to the one you seek. The guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way.
You'll never reach our destination if you continue in that direction, Master. But I suppose I can guide us there later. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. about time we had ourselves a meal. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. Too high, methinks. Master, I believe I could be of aid here. Might I be of assistance? Seem your rescue mission was a success. No matter, you'll accept your punishment all the same. 